Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the osmosis process. Before this, we talk about diffusion that is other type of the passive transport. So let's move. You can see here, osmosis means the movement of the water molecule from a solution with a high concentration. For example, we have two solutions and one has high concentration of water molecule and the second one has a low concentration of water molecule. So what will happen? The water molecule is going to start to move from high concentration to the low concentration, same as diffusion. The difference is there is a partially permeable membrane between them, between the two solutions. And here is just the movement of the solvent, the water molecule. Now we should know about the types of the concentrated and uh, dilute, the types of solutions. There are two types of solution, dilute solution and concentrated. Dilute is the one which have high concentration of water and less amount of solute in it. You can take the example, if we are going to add sugar in water and there is less amount of sugar and more amount of water, it means that solution is going to be diluted one. Second thing, concentrated solution. If we have high amount of solute molecule or high amount of sugar and less amount of water, that solution is known as concentrated solution. So when we talk about osmosis, the water molecules are going to move from the dilute solution to the concentrated solution. Why? Because the dilute has more amount of water and less amount of solute and concentrated have more amount of solute and less amount of water. So water molecules start moving from the dilute to the concentrated one. Second, you can take the example of the coffee. For example, you have a cup of coffee and you have a high amount of coffee in it and you can't drink it. So it means that one is the concentrated one, concentrated coffee. So what you have to do, you have to dilute it with adding more amount of water. Now we have to move to the next. Next, we should know about the types of more solutions there are three main types, isotonic solution, hypertonic solution, and hypotonic solution. So first, isotonic. Iso means same. Tonic means concentration. So equal amount of concentration is going to be there between the two uh, uh, environments, you can say. So the concentration of dissolved substance in the solution is the same as the concentration of dissolved substance inside the cell. So we are talking about the living organism that how diffusion or how osmosis is going to happen in the living cells. So we have to take a cell and we have to put it in a solution. So both the concentration of solute and the solvent should be same in both one, in the cell and in the solution. You can see here in the diagram, this is a cell, the circular one, and it has same amount of solute that are present outside in the beaker. Second, same amount of water is present in both of them. So that is the isotonic solution means nothing is going to happen. Everything is going to be okay one. The next thing, you can see this is a plant cell. If it is present in an isotonic solution, nothing will happen because everything is going to move inside and outside properly. Not extra, not extra is going to enter in the cell, not extra is going to remove out of the cell. No water molecules are going to move. Now we have to talk about the hypotonic solution. Hypo means less. So when we talk about less, it means it has less concentration of solute molecules, not the water, more amount of water molecule and less amount of the solute. You can see here, the word is low. So low amount of solute is there. So when we are talking about the solution, it means the outer, this is a solution, here less amount of solute are present. It means more amount is present inside the cell. So what will happen? Outside, solute amount is less and water molecular, larger one, greater amount of water molecular present. So water molecule suddenly start rushing inside the cell. So what will happen? Because of this, when more water will enter the cell, cell will swell. You can see here in the diagram, it's a plant cell again and it is present in the hypotonic solution. So what will happen? All the water molecules are going to move inside because outside there is a greater amount of water. In the same way, when we talk about the hypertonic, hypertonic means more amount of solute is there and less amount of water is there in the solution. So the water molecules are going to move outside the cell. Why they are moving out from the cell? Because in the cell, water is more. 
So they are going to move outside to make the solution dilute. So what will happen due to this? The shell will shrink down. You can see in the diagram, the cell shrink and we call this as plasmolysis. Why? Because the plasma membrane shrink. So plasmolysis happen. So this is all about today's lecture. We talk about osmosis and three types of solution like first one, isotonic, then hypertonic, and then hypotonic. Hyper mean high amount of solute and hypo mean less amount of solute. So opposite will happen with the water molecule. If there is any question, you can ask. Thank you. Bye.